Hey guys, Evelyn here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So guys, uh, it's been probably about four years since I last talked to you properly. And um, I probably recorded this video, I don't know, maybe more than 10 times, you know. Honestly, I don't know what to say because I feel like no matter what way I say it, it's not going to sound right so I hopefully this will be the last take and I won't need to do it again um so yeah hopefully uh, after you've heard what I have to say you'll hopefully understand uh a lot of things about me and hopefully where I've been over the last four years I've also gotten a really important topic to talk about but that's gonna be maybe uh maybe three quarters of the way video that being said, basically four years ago, I just wasn't able to continue because of a certain reason. Um, so I stopped making videos altogether. So four years ago, I ended up um, in my second year, I think it was. I decided to focus more on my college because a lot of things um, were going on in my life. And... Uh, I just couldn't continue the way I was, so I um, basically just uh, stopped making videos. So the second year went pretty well. Uh, I managed to pass and get everything, and get A's and B's and everything, which is really good and dandy. I was dealing with a few other problems at the time, which we'll discuss in a moment. Um, and then I came into third year, and uh, I actually did okay as well. I had issues throughout that year. For the most part, everything was fine. I finished the year and uh, managed to get my level 7 degree, which was pretty freaking amazing when you think about it, considering uh, what I'm about to tell you. And then fourth year came along and in fourth year in college, I decided to really buckle down um, and the first semester went pretty well. Uh, but after that, the second semester, I actually caught COVID at the time and this caused me to end up in hospital. Uh, and while I was in hospital, um, the doctors told me that I'd have to be there for some time because apparently the COVID was causing my heart to swell up uh, on a condition called myocarditis. Essentially what happened after that, basically I was in the hospital for a full month, I wasn't allowed out and because of this my uh, studies suffered massively and the college said because I was so far behind that I should instead focus on my final year project and instead ignore the other three subjects because I could repeat them over the summer. So I decided that I was going to uh, do that. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit scared because I basically wasn't vaccinated. So that's why the Americas was pretty bad. They told me that if I caught COVID again, it could probably happen again. Hopefully that's not the case. And hopefully because I have immunities now because of having the virus and uh, hopefully um, the next time I catch the COVID, it won't be as horrible as it was to me the first time. So after that I went back to college and I finished my degree. I got my final year project finished and I went throughout the summer to start on my subjects that I had to repeat. But because of another condition I have, which is the one I'm going to talk about now, I caught um, something. I think, I think I've had this since probably since I was 26 but it wasn't until much much later that I started to figure out something different was going on. So basically I was just in starting my projects but what happened was um, halfway which is probably somewhere around the end of or mid June I would say. Um, I started having memory problems, uh, which was caused of a condition called uh, hyperparathyroidism. And essentially, what that is is my one of my parathyroids. They didn't know how many at the time, but one of them 
was overreacting and causing my body to overproduce calcium levels uh, were in my body so what this means is it was causing my calcium to be so I think what the average person has is 1.6 1.7 and I was at like 12 point something which was when you think about it really really freaking crazy my levels were so high that it was causing not only for my calcium to be high but it was causing my body to ache quite a lot uh, through two over producing calcium and making my bones brittle at the same time it was causing me to have memory problems because of that as well because it affects some of your hormones and stuff like that so what this meant was that um, I basically like I said I had memory problems so uh, up until like mid August which was nearly two months later about a month and a half to two months later, uh, I started to get my memory back. And it was really weird because I, I, I forgot a lot throughout that time. This is August uh, 2022. And uh, essentially, I asked the college if I could reset the year because essentially I wasn't able to finish in time. Obviously, only I had like, what, two weeks to finish three subjects. So I asked them nicely and uh, the college said under my circumstances they would definitely give me a waiver on the fees which was great but unfortunately the back to education that I was on decided that they wouldn't waiver the reasons why because they I, can't, I won't go into too much detail but I'll just say that they wouldn't so that left me with the options of basically working and getting enough money up to be able to go back to college or just settling for my level 7 degree and as it currently stands that's where it seems to be like I seem to have no option other than to settle for my level 7 degree but uh, essentially I, I feel like I have to drop out at this point because um, I don't have the money to be able to go back properly as it stands but it's not all bad, uh, throughout the years that I was there I actually learned quite a lot um, and hopefully some of that I'll bring to future videos later on throughout the cycle of when I'm making videos uh, later on. So basically at the end of the summer I was told via letter that I was going to have to go in for surgery because of the memory problems I was having throughout the summer um, and they would need to uh, basically open my neck and they would need to uh, cut out one of the parathyroids and once that was removed that would then bring my calcium levels back down uh, hopefully stop some of the bone deterioration and pain I was getting and also bring my hormone levels back into balance so I wouldn't be having uh, anxiety which was actually another thing I was suffering from. Obviously uh, having high levels of anxiety caused me to worry quite a lot. Once they did the surgery in September, things started to calm down a little bit. Uh, my levels have slightly gone back to normal and um, I'm going hopefully on the mend. And uh, basically if I stretch back, maybe you can see the scar that was left after the surgery. Also, maybe put a picture on the screen of me being in the hospital. So basically, it took a lot out of me just being in the hospital. So essentially, after I got out of the hospital, uh, I started to feel a lot better and things started to look up. But there, unfortunately, was only one of the few problems that I've been having. Essentially, there was another problem that I was going through. Uh, it was another thing called uh, cavernosis and also uh, I think I don't remember the medical term menzinoma or something it was called essentially what that means it was a brain tumor um, that was basically uh, right behind my nose and the cavernomas are little uh, kind of cherries on my brain uh, which can bleed they are essentially a form of uh, if I get a bleed on the brain um, if I get really bad headache I could 
possibly die from it. There's also the uh, meningioma, which basically the it's a tumor on my brain. It's at the base of my brain, so luckily enough, the surgeons will be able to go through my nose and pull the tumor out that way. But I was told that if I didn't, I was told if I didn't get this surgery done, that um, basically uh, I would die. Um, what somewhere between the next four to five years, <laughs> and uh, I just tried my best to maintain my composure when I was told that. Uh, but really, it just scares the hell out of me. I'm so scared. I just don't want to have to stop, you know, because I love being alive, you know. And I um, I just have a, a lot to deal with. The doctors told me that essentially there's a few things that could happen. One, I have a 1% chance that I could actually die from the surgery. I have a 5% chance that uh, I could have some brain leakage and I have like a 95% chance I should be fine from the surgery and so basically because of that I have just been kind of in my own head for the last four years I've just kind of been a little bit out of it and January came and I actually made a video uh, early November. I started recording early November and by the end of November I posted the video and uh, essentially January what happened was the hyperparathyroidism even though it had the surgery uh, my bones had still deteriorated. Basically my back went out early January and I wasn't able to do anything up to like nearly the end of February. Uh, so for the last month I've kind of been procrastinating uh, whether or not I should come back. Honestly, with everything over the last four years, I just kind of decided that I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm not going to stop being me. Kind of, in a sense, like, basically, all this made me think that I was done with not being happy. And so I need to move forward and tell you, basically, some of what my life's been up to at this point so you guys can understand the next time I'm going to tell you about. Essentially, I was like any other kid, your average kid, up until I was like maybe seven or eight. And then I started to notice the difference between boys and girls. So for me, that was like, I wasn't sure how to think about it at the time. But then as I got a little bit older, I started to realize that I was different. And I wasn't sure how to go about thinking about that but I just kind of pushed it to the back of my head and kind of just tried to be a normal kid like everybody else. At the age of 12 I started to notice things were happening obviously as it stands every kid has differences that happen between the ages of 12 to 18 and I started to notice there were differences happening to me uh, and for the time being I didn't I felt it was weird I wasn't sure what was going on, but I did what everyone else thought I should do and I just be what everyone expected me to be. And I just basically said to myself, okay, this is what people perceive me as, who I am, uh, let's just go with it. Because at the end of the day, I can't do anything about it. But back then, I didn't really know what I was. I just always thought there was just something different about me. I've always thought at the time though that I wasn't specifically anyway normal to what other people were. So after that I decided to go ahead and just do what everyone expected of me and I went and did the usual boy things. I went and jumped off roofs, played in truck yards, stuff like that with my friends. But as I got a little bit older I started to realize that these weren't the kind of things I enjoyed and I went and decided uh, I was going to hang out with the girls instead because their conversations they were having were 
definitely more stuff I was interested in hearing about, uh, stuff I liked talking about. As I sat there, I was the only one that was different from the rest. Uh, all the other girls just uh, kind of talked and I listened sometimes and then sometimes I had conversations back and forth. They basically just treated me like I was one of them. And it was kind of cool for a while. But then I fell into uh, what I would class as a deep depression. And I kind of just lost who I was for some time. As things went on, I started to realize that I couldn't hack being in this world anymore. And so I basically just gave up and kind of pushed myself into the video game world. I just kind of needed some time to myself, I guess. And as things went on, I kind of got a little bit older. I found myself a girlfriend, uh, which was kind of cool. And I was playing this weird game called, what was it? Uh, Net Dragons, I think it was. Yeah, Net Dragons. <laughs> and uh, she broke up with me like maybe a year later. And then fast forward three years later, depressed with me. Uh, I had a friend at the time and he decided that he was going to introduce me to this other lady. She was really cool, um, someone I had a lot of fun with. For privacy sake I won't mention her name, but basically as I got to know her, she was really cool, we got to hang out. After a while we decided to meet up uh, and we got along quite well, we had a lot of fun together. Uh, and four years had passed before I even knew it. But unfortunately, at the end of the four years, we had some disagreements and we went our separate ways. At this point, I was 26 years old and I had come back to Ireland at the time. I went into a depression again for some time and during that time, I found a program which was on TV at the time and uh, Basically, I decided to watch this program and the more I watched the program, the more I started to realize that it was more about me and my journey of over the last, what was it, 14 years at the time. Basically, the more and more I watched it, the more and more I started to realize the people in this program were a lot like me and they were kind of in the same situation I was in. Up to this point, I still believed that I was different to everyone else. I didn't know who I was or what I, or basically what I was, you know. Um, it wasn't until I watched this program that I started to put the pieces together, you know. I started to realize that essentially these people uh, had gone through a lot of the experiences that I'd gone through and the people in, the, in this program just all happened to be uh, women and and I was thinking to myself like if these are all women and they've gone through everything I've gone through and they figured out in the end that they were not what life had told them they were what did this mean for me after watching this show, I went and started watching YouTube videos because I, even though they were women, they were exactly like me and I, I just needed to find out who I was, you know. So I went and started looking up videos and I'll never forget their names. One was called uh, Jesslyn and the other was called Eve and um, I watched both of their videos. The first girl, she kind of went through her journey of her life and how she got to that point and all the struggles she'd had to deal with. And then the second girl was more of an extreme case where she had been bullied, uh, she had her life threatened, she had a lot of problems, um, but in the end she could not be herself. So she just kind of stopped caring what other people thought and she just decided to go for it and she went for it and she made it to the other end and she 
finished her journey and she got to be the woman she always was. So after watching their videos and looking up a bit more information, I came to the conclusion that I, myself, am a woman. I am transgender. Uh, if you know what that is, uh, essentially what that means is that I was born into the wrong body and I am a woman internally in my mind, in my heart, in my soul and everything I am is who I am, you know, I am a woman. There's no other way around it and I can't hide that from you guys anymore. I can't not be myself anymore. I have to be myself. I can't hide who I am anymore. It's just, it's, it's tearing me apart. I can't not be happy, you know? And in order for me to be, make, to make videos and to be more myself, I have to be more honest with you guys. It just, it's tearing me up inside being someone I'm not meant to be and it's really hurting me a lot because I just want to be happy, you know? I want to be able to make videos, I want to be able to do these things, but I've been so scared over the last few years because of what you guys might talk about me. And I just, I just can't do it anymore. I can't be someone else. I, I can't lie to you anymore. I can't be fake, you know? I have to be me. I have to be real. Um, so I have to go forward and I have to um, just try my best to be happy. And I really hope that you guys will at least somewhat understand what I'm going through and how hard it's been for me as, as, as lying to myself, saying I am what I'm not just to make other people happy and, and I can't do that anymore. I have to be happy myself. Um, with that being said, uh, I guess I don't really have much else to say other than thank you for supporting me over the last, I don't know, while. Maybe it's been like nearly 10 years now I've been on YouTube. Um, I started in 2012. Admittedly, I have made four videos in the last four years, so it's been maybe six years of YouTube when you think about it. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me over these years. It really means the world to me. And for the people who are watching this, thank you for everything. And I hope that um, if you decide to stop watching my videos because of me being a woman, then then that's something I can do about that. I can't be someone else. I have to be me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here anymore because it's, I really thought about just giving up and not being here anymore because it just didn't feel right. You know, it felt wrong. It felt so wrong. It felt so wrong. So... That being said, I'm going to continue to be me. If you continue to support me over the next God knows how many years I'm making videos, then I will do my best to help uh, you all out and do my best to make everyone feel good about themselves because I, I want to feel good about me. And hopefully you will understand that and allow me to be happy. Um, also, for the people who decide to leave, uh, thank you for everything and the support you've had given me over the last God knows how many years. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I I can't not be me. So if you decide to leave, then there's nothing much I can say. Um, and I hope you have a good time in the rest of your life, whatever you do. And for the people who do support me. I'm going to be here and I'm going to post videos. I'm going to do my best for everyone because that is what I do. That's what I love to do. I love to make videos and I hope that you guys will support me throughout God knows how many years I have left doing this. Um, and if the surgery goes the wrong way 
and I'm no longer here anymore. Just know that you you made me so happy and gave my life a purpose. And we'll see what happens. Um, but for now, thank you for watching. Uh, and I'm going to try my best to come back and make videos more often for you guys. Anyways, guys, as always, this is Evan now. I love you all. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one.